Holon is a city of almost 200,000 people south of Tel Aviv in Israel. In July 2013, a construction crew was digging foundations for a building project when their excavator struck a very solid object some two meters below the surface. Excavating further, they made an astounding discovery. Clearing away some of the soil revealed the corner of a tank, a very old tank, brown with rust but still largely intact. The police were informed and an Israeli army search team also arrived to ensure that no live ordnance remained in the vehicle. The tank was quickly identified as a Soviet T-34, the most iconic of World War II armoured vehicles, but everyone was at a loss as to how it came to be in Holon and why it had been buried. But before we get into that story, here's a quick message from our video sponsor, Enlisted. Enlisted is a squad-based first-person shooter available for free on PC and consoles that skillfully combines PvP with PvE combat. Take command of a squad of AI-controlled soldiers, lead them into some of the most pivotal battles of World War II in massive clashes against the squads of other players. As a historian, I like that it's a game first but still authentic to history. Fight on the side of the United States, Germany, the Soviet Union or Japan and unlock over 400 weapons, tanks and aircraft to customize your squads with. You don't need extra hardware. Drive any tank and fly any aircraft with nothing but your mouse and keyboard or controller. And especially for those of you who have already played the game, Enlisted has recently received a huge metagame update, introducing research trees for weapons and vehicles, a matchmaker based on the equipment, and various other improvements to gameplay. There has never been a better time to explore the new era of Enlisted. The condition of the Berry T-34 was not great after decades beneath the ground, but the hull was complete, the tracks torn away on one side and intact on the other. But strangely the turret was missing, removed for some reason before the vehicle was buried. The irony of its discovery was not lost on locals and police, for the name of the thoroughfare where it was unearthed is Merkava Street, the name of Israel's famous indigenous tank. The police searched the wreck and the surrounding area, but no munitions were found and it was declared safe. So, why was a Soviet T-34 buried in Holon? The answer most probably was Israel's earlier conflicts with its Arab neighbours, primarily Egypt and Syria. Arriving from the west to avoid frontal attacks on densely populated areas, Israeli forces from the Sinai Desert occupy the troubled Gaza Strip. Taking... Both of those nations were supplied in the early 1950s with Soviet weaponry, including armoured vehicles, and amongst them the later war T-34-85 tank. Egypt received 380 from 1955 onwards, being that nation's main battle tank. In the 1956 Sinai campaign, Egyptian T-34s battled with Israeli Shermans and AMX-13s. Likewise, Syria received 200 T-34-85s, receiving in fact a Czech upgraded version called the T-34-55. And again, ironically, the Syrian T-34 ended up serving alongside World War II German Panzer IVs and Jagd Panzer IV tank destroyers that also came to them via Czechoslovakia, these being vehicles captured from the Germans at the end of the war and reconditioned by the Czechs. Wrecks of both Syrian T-34s and German Panzers still litter the Golan Heights, a product of the 1965 war there with Israel, picked off by IDF Super Shermans and Centurion tanks. I made a video many years ago about these wrecks, link in the end screen. Egypt used T-34-85s to supplement its more modern Soviet tanks from the 1967 Six-Day War, including using Egypt's upgraded Super T-34, which was armed with a huge 100mm gun. During these several conflicts, the Israelis captured many T-34s. Some were paraded through the streets of Tel Aviv as trophies and then sent on for display in museums, where many can be seen today. Many examples in good working order were sold on by Israel to foreign buyers, and a lot ended their days as range targets. The Holon T-34 is a bit of a mystery. 
Was it a range target? It doesn't appear to be shot up. Was it used for some other reason and kept in long-term storage before mysteriously being buried? Locals did recall a workshop being on the site in the past. Since hitting the headlines in 2013, I can't find anything concrete about this tank or what subsequently became of it after discovery on the building site. Perhaps someone viewing this video knows the answer. I have a feeling the comments section will be an interesting read. Sign up today for Enlisted using the link in the description and receive a special bonus pack for new players on PC. You'll also receive 4,000 silver and 3 days premium account. This offer has a limited time, so get it today. Many thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share, and also visit my audiobook channel, War Stories with Mark Felton. You can also help to support both of my channels at PayPal and Patreon. Details in the description box below.